Iceberg diggers, we're out and with the goondock, look at that. We're helping my buddy in Horseshoe Bend and we're near an old railroad track and look what he finds. Oh, it's fantastic. Not what I was looking for, but. Let's go, you look so handsome with that little handlebar. Oh, it's fantastic. If we find anything cool, we'll let you know. We want to thank all our new subscribers. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for supporting us. We really appreciate you. Let's go dig. Beautiful day. Look at the tracks over there. That's cool. And this piece of iron. Almost looks like it's from a plate of some sort. So I'm trying a new coil with the MXT All Pro, that uh, 6x10 double D. I love it. Look what I found. So I, I get a nice kind of buckle sound there. I've got it in relic mode. And uh, normally coins and stuff like that ring up in the buckle button range. So I get a signal right here. And I'm like, oh, it's got to be good. And I, I see this, I'm like, kind of interesting what's that and I pull on it and look what I find are you ready I know you're excited because I am boom look at that it's some kids little secret stash and there's a signal right there nothing here but right there, there's a signal. Oh, I hope it's coins. I hope it's like treasure. That'd be fantastic. Oh, what a shame it was foiled. But look at all these. That's awesome. Little bouncy balls. The lady next door has grandkids. I'm just going to give them to her for her grandkids. That'll be fun for them. Pretty cool piece of iron. That's cool. Oh, that's a first for me. Look at that big exhaust. It's kind of interesting. It blew my ears off. Going dark over there. I haven't really found much. It's just fun being out. Beautiful. It's the first time we've been to Horseshoe Bend metal detecting. We'll probably go and knock some doors afterwards. Well, just right next to the exhaust was this thing. I have no idea what that is. That's cool. So we found three of the property markers. We'll be looking for number four here in a few seconds. Hopefully we'll find it. I'm having fun just being out more than anything. So going dark right there. Just found this. Look what he found. You know what that is? I think we do. It's a top of a water bottle. Like an old water bottle. Screw that in, stop the hot water from coming out. That's awesome. That's sweet. Well, I want to thank uh, Gary for letting us come on his property and uh, help him find his stakes and yeah. hunt a little bit. So yeah. thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Rob. You guys are a blessing. That's cool. Look at that. Nice. 
Well, we're just going off road a little bit. Look at this, beautiful. We have no idea where we are, but it's fun. We're looking for some old, old ghost towns and old sites around this road. So if we find some, we'll get out and we'll go dig. Found a place, we're gonna call this place Rubyville. Okay, to protect. We got permission from the landowner and this is the first signal. So we're gonna do a live dig. Goondock said, this might be good. So if it's not, you've got to blame him. <laughs> so we're not going to show a lot of the property because we're going to keep it private for the owner. I'm going to pause it. Thank you. All right, so this is it. Oh, a piece of tin or something like that. <laughs> it was so deep. We're like so excited. But anyway, let's uh, let's go explore. You get a sweet signal right there. I pull it out and I just see a bit of silver, you know. I'm like, oh, I've got to go. Oh, no, I don't. And that's my first haul. Oh, it's so good just to be out and about. I love it. I love it. But that's cool. A lot of iron around. Uh, Rubyville is uh, is proven to be pretty promising right now. Look at that. That's cool. I think next time I come out, I'm going to put on my small coil. It'll be a lot better. Um, just so I can get in between the iron and look for the better signals. Uh, having fun. Look how deep that was. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, piece of a stove. Oh, I love it. Oh, so this had me gone. Oh, I tell you, I couldn't believe it. Oh, I was looking, and this bit was just like that, a little bit of dirt on it. And I thought, oh, it's got to be silver. Picked it up. It's so light. It's not, unfortunately. Still a cool find. Well, on to the next one. It's getting dark, so I don't know how long Goondock and I will be out here, but hopefully it's another 30 minutes to an hour. I just found a casing. Found quite a few of these. Uh, nothing special. But still, it sounds good, so you've got to dig it. So wouldn't you know, right next to that casing is a bullet. It's a bullet. Maybe they were shooting at each other. This town of uh, Rubyville is beautiful. There's so much to explore and we don't have enough time. As you can see, the snow on the ground. Um, hopefully we'll be able to find some cool things. Goondock found the back of a pocket watch. Other than that, we haven't really found much. I'll check in with him and uh, we'll catch you on the next haul. Just checking in with the Goondock, look what he found. You see, oh, that's beautiful. It says star on it. Well, he's the star. It's awesome. And then he found an old school fuse. I don't know if you can see that light's getting bad. Mason jar lid. Oh, back of a pocket watch. That's awesome. Well done. That's, that's sweet. Oh, that's sweet. Just on the side of the hill. I don't think it's silver, but it's pretty cool. Nice. Well, Spud Diggers, this is my last haul. Old shotgun head stamp. We really appreciate you watching our videos. Thank you so much. Till next time, happy hunting and good luck.